Hey guys, welcome to Tactry Tutorial. In today's video, we'll learn about Ideogram AI Tutorial or the best AI image generator with text. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. If you have ever tried to create images with text, you know the challenges. Text may not come out as what you have envisioned. But I've got something exciting or in use for you today. We're diving into Ideogram AI, a fantastic tool that excels in text-based image generation. By the end of this video, you'll see how it can effortlessly create images like some logos or even melt your heart sign with a cute baby Yoda. So stay tuned to explore its incredible 3D typography and examples from other creators since we're going to create together some of images with text, logos, and stickers. And also you'll see how Ideogram can make you more productive in your design brand. So let's start by visiting onto this website, which is Ideogram. So you could just sign up using Google if you don't have an account already, just simply click onto this. Now, right after a quick sign up or choosing your Google account, you should agree to the terms and service and privacy policy of Ideogram. So just click onto this chat box and click onto continue. And then right after, it will prompt you to choose your username. So you could add in any username. So I'll just add an account in here or add in some numbers to complete this. And then right after, click on to complete registration. So here you are already on the Ideogram AI website. So actually in the past, we needed a special access code to use it, but now you could just simply use your Google account to sign up in here. So since we're already in here, let's take a look onto the trending page so that we could find excellent examples of text-based images. So as you can see, these are examples created by Ideogram AI users. So it's amazing how different and creative designs become when the text is correctly added. As you can see, there are some names in here onto their shirt. Also, this kinds of things in here, a Christmas tree about this one, a name just like Liam, Justin Christopher, Elias, and there are just many more. So they are using Ideogram for first application and we're actually also excited to share the magic with you and let's see what Ideogram is capable of. Now here also onto the user's page or the other things that were done by other user. If you click onto a specific design, you could actually see the prompts that they have used. So you could actually download this photo as well. And there are a lot of options that you could see. The user bits, you could share it and you could also like their design. Now for us to be able to create something like this as well. So the first thing that we'll need to do in here is to generate also. So let's try to put Ideogram AI to the test. So kind of like how this one turned out. This is done by other user, which is Beshaw Shop, Show Show. And we're going to go ahead and try to copy out its prompt. So we're going to create exactly like this, but we'll try to change what is inside of it. So let's head back in here and we're going to go ahead and try to search this in here on to describe what you want to see. So let's try to remove unnecessary things in here and let's create exactly a text that says, let's change this. So for example, we want to change the name to Anna. So we're going to go ahead and close it like that. And then right after, let's click on the generate. So as you can see, there are a lot of options that you could choose from, from photo, a poster, 3D render. You could also try to choose in here the different things or the different ratios and then right after let's get a go ahead and click on the generate so if you click onto this drop down there is actually different versions that you could choose from we're currently using the version 0.2 so we're gonna go ahead and try to use that and we're gonna go ahead and try to click on to generate and let's try to see what it will give us so as you can see you could see the generation progress in here and as of the moment there is nothing in here and as it passed by or the time passed by it will go ahead and try to reflect something here onto it so as you can see it has gone ahead and created us an anna design so kind of like this first one in here however onto the other photos it seems that there has been some issues in here instead of anna it has become a nano but there is still an a in here so there has been some confusion so let's try to click onto remix in here and let's try to see what it will give us so let's just leave it as it is and then right after we're gonna go ahead and try to generate again so that we could try to see another batch onto what it will give us now as you can see here is another batch that it generated so it seems that it has been really having some time onto putting anna in here now let's try to remix it again. Let's try another word to see if it would work. So instead of Anna, let's try to add it in here, pink. Now let's try to see if it will give out 
a really pink one and here let's click on to generate and let's wait for its generation now as you can see here are the photos that it generated so there might seem to be a little issues within the typo typography but it seems that it is just a minimal thing or it seems that the pink is still showing onto the different things that we have generated now let's try to scroll down in here let's try to find in some ideas now as you can see in here i kind of like this one out the maria text in elegant pink typography with a metallic pink heart render so let's try to remix this so let's try to change this to a different name so for example we want to use the name of anna like what we did earlier let's try to see check in here typography and let's try to see what it will generate for us now as you can see here are some of the photos that it generated so it's still onto a maria one so let's try to go ahead and have this one out remix again and then we could try to adjust the image weight so let's try to lessen this since the more onto the the thing that you put onto the image weight the more it is what it will base onto the image that we have chosen for the remix but the lesser it is it will go ahead and try to base it off onto the prompt that we have added so let's leave it into one and let's try to see what it will give us so let's just try to wait for this one and now as you can see we actually got it right in here onto this remix and here and since we've lessened out the image weight it is actually not that looking much onto the one that we have made so it is almost the same but not that much but we've got the name right already in here now let's try to do another thing so let's browse onto the community in here and let's try to see if we could recreate something so i kind of like this one it's kind of cute there's a root holding a wooden board with sample written on it so we could try to create something as well like this we could just try to remix this or just copy out directly the prompt and then instead of sample in here let's add in another name so let's try to think of a boy name so we could try adding ben so right after we're gonna go ahead and click on to generate and wait for its generation again so i kind of like using this ideogram since its generation progress is much faster than other so as you can see here are the photos that it has given us so we have ben already in here but it did created another ben 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 and another thing in here is this ben b so this is actually really nice it's just that there are some issues regarding the name in here so instead of just ben it added another name so but all in all it did really give out a really nice generation for that one so example for this coco as well or we could try out just doing our own generation and not basing by other things so for example let's type in in here i want to see the name ben on a can or let's or on let's think of something on a flower so instead of ben let's just try to change this to maria on a flower and then let's click on to generate and let's try to see what it will give us so this is actually from our own prompt so let's try to see what is the difference if you use our own prompts or if you use other prompts so let's click on the generate and let's wait for it onto what it will give us now as you can see here are the photos that it has given us so i'm kind of satisfied onto what it has given us since if you want to use your own prompts it will you will actually get what you're looking for since you could be more specific onto what you want you could just update the prompt in here and it will give you what you've been looking for now if you click onto this one you'll actually have the option to download the image and that's just basically it onto this ideogram ai tutorial and if you think this is helpful to you and this tutorial has been informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you have any question, don't hesitate to comment it down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on to our next video.